Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls with Abby and Molly. Well, with us today, we have Clea Newman. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm just going to jump right in. Yeah. Okay. So, Absolutely. With, all right. So with us today, we have Clea Newman. Um, she's the daughter of Paul Newman. I think you might have heard that name a few times. Maybe. Um, but we, uh, we want to talk to her about the Serious Fun Children's Network um, and then just some other things. So... So why don't you just kind of... Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. We, we know you're busy and we definitely appreciate it. Um, why don't you kind of tell us a little bit about the background of Serious Fun Children's Network and kind of how it came to be, if you don't mind. Well, Serious Fun Children's Network started with our first camp 30 years ago. My father came up with this vision to build a camp for children with serious illness because he really felt like kids who were seriously ill were missing out on their childhood. Mm -hmm. And he really just wanted to create an extraordinary special place for them where they could just kind of, as he put it, kick back and raise a little hell. (laughs) But really it was all about, you know, getting away from the pain and, and stress and isolation of their illness and just getting back to being a kid and being surrounded by other children who understood what they were going through and having the support that they needed from kids around them who, who got it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have the top medical presence. Um, our program staff are the most innovative, creative people I know. Uh, being a child, go down a zip line, um, getting directly out of a wheelchair or on a ventilator absolutely blows your mind. I mean, wow. it's... Everything, everything is the highest medical and the safest. I mean, um, you know, the, the, every program is created specially for every kid. So every kid can be included. Nobody feels removed or isolated from any activity. And, um, you know, it just gives them renewed hope and, and, you know, it just, it helps the families, and, you know, we also serve the families, and we have family weekends, and, mm. um, yeah, I mean, most of our programs, most of our camps run almost year-round. Oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's an extraordinary program. I mean, it's an extraordinary program, and now we have 30 camps and programs all over the world. That's fantastic. So, it's amazing. It really I is. Know, and, and all the programs are free of charge. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, was the mandate that my father came up with before he, we even our, opened our first camp because he felt that the families had enough to mm-hmm. deal with. That's that's excellent. I think that's really important. Yeah. It is very important. Yeah. So was there a, you know, an event or something that, you know, kind of inspired your dad with this, this vision? Because um, it is so important and so needed, but... You know, I don't think it's something that a lot of people would necessarily think of. Well, actually, uh, we had a close friend of the families who was quite ill. And he was, you know, he was spending a lot of time in a local hospital. And my father and actually the whole family went down there a lot. And in those days, you know, everything was kind of housed on one on one floor and one level and my dad just saw so many you know young families with small kids and children who were you know suffering from cancer and blood related diseases and he just thought you know this this just isn't right mm-hmm. um you know he had had at that time he had had huge success with Newman Zone and he wanted to really you know wrap his his love and his heart and his vision into some big thing and Mm -hmm. serving children with serious illness came to the top of the pile you know and um he just embraced it so quickly and i mean it's amazing how this little little bubble of an idea became you know a camp in 18 months i mean it just you know, he was not the kind of person who came up with an idea and took a long time to germinate. Yeah. You know, he would, yeah. just, he would he would have the vision and he would just, you know, surround himself with all the people that he thought could help him get there and he would just do it. That's so, awesome. Yeah. 
That's fantastic. Well, and yeah, that's that's so wonderful that he was able to take a you know an unfortunate situation for you know some close friends of your family and and turn it into this wonderful this wonderful thing um, that gives kids the opportunity to be kids. And, um, and yeah, like you said, you offer weekends for families, not to mention, you know, just, you know, giving the caregivers a little bit of a break mm, while the kids mm -hmm. are at camp, you know, cause caregiver, um, strain is very real. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, I just oh, think that this is I such a cool thing. That it's so good for the families to get to be together. Yeah. Um, you know, that they can support each other. They can, <clears throat> you know, especially family weekends, there's a lot of kind of, you know, mom and dad time together um where they can all talk to each other where the kids are off doing activities and they can all kind of come together and you know either or vent or cry or you know figure out best practices or mm -hmm. just you know walk around and hold hands or or commiserate with you know other supporting parents you know it's just it's a really extraordinary kind of reboot to the family. Mm, it is. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, when, I, when I talk to the parents, they always say to me, those weekends are life-changing for us. Oh, wow. You know, it, it gives us the support that we need. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can say the same for our programs for our campers. But, you know, there's something... Uh, you know, it was just like an extraordinary added benefit that I don't think, you know, my dad had any idea how meaningful that part of it would be, which is, you know, great ideas kind of ripple out, which is always the most exciting part of being involved in, in the camps is that they just keep growing and expanding and, mm -hmm. you know, coming new ideas. I mean, that's the amazing thing about it is that it's not stagnant, which is really fun to just be a part of and, and get to see the extraordinary passion and vision that, that everybody has for helping these kids and their families. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know when we, I think it was mid Ohio, we actually had some of the campers come um, to one of the autograph sessions. And so they got to go through the autograph line and, and, all the drivers signed stuff, so the kids were already beaming. And then we were talking with CJ from IndyCar, and we ended up calling the kids uh, up, on stage. up with us. And I remember a couple of them were also like, they're like, I'm here with my brother, and I'm here with my sister. And it was like, that also, for like the siblings was really fun. And I, I know you talked about the parents, but I'm sure like the siblings and everybody else really also um, take away a lot from those camps because, you know, they're they're in this fun environment, and they're with, you know – their siblings and kind of getting to explore nature and, and play with them and, and mom and dad just aren't worried. It do normal kid stuff. Kind of normal. I hate to use that term, but yeah, normal kid stuff. But yeah, do, yeah, just do fun kid Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And we actually even have special sibling sessions where, you know, just siblings go. And so siblings get to hang out with each other and, and, get to, to do all the activities and, and support each other in that environment, oh, which yeah. is, you know, safe and, um, you know, exploratory in, in all the positive kind of kid-friendly ways, but also, mm -hmm. you know, there's really a lot of meaningful time together with other, you know, siblings who understand what they're dealing with. Um, so it's, you know, again, it's just these amazing ideas that keep springing up of more ways that we can, you know, serve the families and the kids. And it's uh, it's really just, you know, to just sit back and, and watch what, you know, amazing idea that my father started with and the extraordinary vision and how far he carried it. And then just watching, being able to watch all the people who are so passionate, mm -hmm. not only about vision but about expanding it you know it's amazing it is it is now you guys you, you started with one and you said you have 30 camps and are you guys still is it still more of a a, a national u.s based or were you guys expanded out into other countries yeah so we have 30 camps and programs globally mm -hmm. so oh, awesome um we have, we have nine camps in the u.s we have camps all over Europe. We have one in Israel. Um, we have one in Japan. 
and then we have our serious fun partner programs um, where we partner with other NGOs on the ground, like let's say Baylor uh, in India and Africa for children specifically with HIV. Oh, oh wow. Um, yeah, and, um, and that has, last year was our 10th anniversary oh, of geez. our serious fun partner programs, and, and it's pretty amazing and it's extraordinary the effect that the program has on our kids Mm -hmm. over um there's a big focus on on helping them understand the importance of them taking their meds but it's Mm -hmm. all in our camp friendly way and we have an extraordinary success rate and um again that's like this other little thing that we you know we didn't realize that we were able to do until we started doing it so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, again, the program staff, the medical staff, I mean, they're just incredible. So. Yeah, I mean, that's just fantastic. Wow, yeah, that was one of those jaw-dropping moments for the two of us, like, yeah. that's absolutely yeah. Yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I definitely yeah. didn't realize, yeah, how how far this went, and that's just wonderful. That's amazing. I mean, I, I hate to ask where you're going next, because I think you're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, the, well, so so last year, um, we served our millionth experience for our, our campers and their families. Very and cool. I always say that where we're going next is if there's any child that needs our programs, that we will be there for them. Oh, nice. So that is, you know, we're, we're always looking um, to expand, but in a really sustainable way, and mm-hmm. we're... You know, we really want to uh, grow each one of our camp programs as much as they can and our um, serious fund partner programs as much as they can before we consider, like, if we want to, re- you know, start building anywhere else. Or um, We want to be really thoughtful. Sure. And, yeah. I think that's... You know what I mean? Yeah, that's always but, smart. <laughs> camps is there you know it's it's not a cheap experience I and mean, it's not a cheap thing to do and it would we want to be able to serve as many kids as we can and as many families as we can in the in the programs that we have yeah yeah that's 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 exactly how it should be done honestly well yeah and you want to make sure that you know each camp you have is giving the same quality experience so uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah but i mean you have well, it, it sounds like you have such an innovative team <laughs> um well, that's what's kind of neat about the support center where where I'm the ambassador is that part of our job is to, you know, help manage that. Not manage that, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, but, but make sure that all the medical, you know, it's, yeah, I mean, all the, um, you know, the, the highest medical, um, possible mm-hmm. at every at every camp and um it's i mean what's actually kind of amusing if not amusing about it but it's i mean the camps have are, are even more diligent i'm mean, not even more diligent but they are equally as diligent as we are because their job is to serve the kids sure. so yeah. it's not like this is a a question or a quandary for them yeah. you know it's just trying to to write it all down you know to to make sure it's it's there in in black and white okay. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. oh a hundred percent absolutely well and yeah. um so when when i was growing up my my mom is a nurse as am i in my day job um <laughs> and uh every every summer for two weeks she would relieve the regular camp nurse of a camp that molly and i actually went to when we were young <laughs> Um, and then when I got older and became a nurse, I worked a couple, um, a couple summers, um, for a couple weeks. Um, and you know, it's something that I found with people who work at camps is that they, I mean, there's, you don't work at a camp for the wrong reasons Yeah. because there's just so many people there that just want to serve their community, serve these kids and families, you know, no matter what, it's just, that's always been my experience with, with camp people is Mm -hmm. that. You know, they tend to have really good hearts, and they that makes them be a really effective team. Yeah. I, uh, believe me. 
I mean, I, they are they are angels on earth, as I as I say. All, all nurses are. So I applaud you. <laughs> I, ju- I just had my yearly physical, and my nurses <laughs> who took my blood did the best job of any nurse ever because I'm a little bit of a chicken. <laughs> oh, I'm the, I, I get it. I I'm the same kissed, way. I, I almost kissed her hand. <laughs> that's, that's a mark of a good nurse, I've decided. If they can stick you for blood and you are easy peasy, then they're a fantastic nurse. <laughs> Oh, believe me. I mean, I, I, and I, poor thing, I made her a little squeamish because I was like, um, I don't mean to make you nervous, but I tend to pass out. And she, just looked at me, she goes, she looked at me and she goes, mm, not on my watch. <laughs> That's a good nurse. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, if it makes you feel better, I have also passed out from a blood draw, both okay. b- before and after becoming a nurse. All right, thank God. Okay. Yeah. No, I have no problem so sticking bad. other people, but when it comes to me, I'm not not really a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I get it. I also... Sure yes. this, but there you go. <laughs> now, we kind of got introduced to all of this um, through our... Wor- not working with IndyCar, but our tangential kind of stuff that we do with IndyCar. But so this past season, IndyCar paired up with you guys. Can you kind of talk a little bit about how that got started and and kind of what you saw from that partnership? Well, so 10 years ago, um, IndyCar announced partnering with Serious Fun Children's Network. At the time, it was called the Association of Hole in the Wall Gang Camps, and that was when my father uh, was still alive, but after he passed away, it just, you know, it, it just kind of, I think, it just didn't really move forward. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the absolute joy of bringing, you know, my father's two greatest passions together 10 years later was, you know, really a dream come true for me. Yeah, um, yeah I mean... It was so fun. About a year and a half ago, um, I went to the track, and I hadn't been to a race in a in a while because, frankly, you know, it was it just kind of made me sad, really. Mm-hmm. Sure. I spent so much time at the track with my dad and my family, and um, and you know, it just it was like coming home again. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, the first person I saw was Graham Ray Hall, and. He was signing autographs, and I kind of poked my head around and spa and was like, hey, Graham. And he was like, oh, my God. You know, he gave me this big hug, and then I saw, you know, Chip Ganassi, and he, like, went running across his trailer, you Aww. know. And it's just, you know, I ran into Mario, and the two of us cried about Dad. And then I saw Sebastian, and the two of us cried about Dad, Aww. you know. And it was you know, and then I saw Mike Lanigan. I mean, it was just, mm-hmm. you know, it was like coming home for me. Um, yeah. So, the you know, the partnership has just been a joy. And, and IndyCar, you know, has just been absolutely a pleasure to work with. They're so dedicated. They've, they've done so much to get the word out. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm ex- incredibly grateful. So... Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's a joy for me. I, I do show jumping um, on horses, and I spent most of my childhood either at a horse show or at the track with my dad. So <laughs> for me to be able to, to go back to that routine and also work all week long is really fun. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, and yeah, it, I think it's wonderful that you have that, you know, just that feeling of, of coming home mm-hmm. and, and being able to come to the track and it not be you know, a sad experience for you to bring, you know, bring back this partnership with something that meant so much to your dad. Definitely. Yeah. That's just, that's very cool that you're able to do that. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's to such credit of the people, you know, it's, um, you know, I just was welcomed with open arms and, and you don't get that everywhere. No, that's true. You know, it was, you know, 10 years later and everybody remembered me and was so happy to see me and just happy to, you know, talk about that and, 
and you know it just made me you know it just in some ways it, it really made me miss him but it also made me feel even closer to him because I knew that he would just be so happy that this you know that this was coming forth and um so yeah it was, it was just great it was a great gift mm, definitely and I think didn't a couple of the the drivers end up making trips to a camp or hanging out with some of the kiddos at different times? Oh my God! Okay, uh, so so Joseph and Ashley. So so Joseph has just been an amazing champion for us, and and Ashley, his fiance, who I just adore. Oh yeah, actually went to Hole in the Wall Gang Camp and hung out with the kids, and they had the most amazing time. And, of course, you know, Joseph just fell right in. Ashley just fell right in with the kids, and, you know, so we're right at home, and, mm. you know, the kids had an amazing time with them. And, you know, we've had so many drivers and, and teams host kids and you know when they were at the track I mean you know they just again it's just welcoming us with open arms and you know taking their time and their energy to you know when they're so busy at the track to just you know welcome our families and you know it's uh it's really they're just really super special people they really you know? are. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the things that cannot be said enough about the drivers in, in the IndyCar series is how, I think, open they are and just, you know, it, sometimes, yeah, they're busy, but if they're not busy, they're going to take that moment, and that just speaks volumes to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. When when uh, when Max Chilton and his wife, Chloe, found out that we had we were having a gala in London last fall. Yeah. They came, they came to our gala mm-hmm. and, and had a blast. And it was so, I mean, you know, just for them to take the time out mm-hmm. and, you know, and come to our gala was amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, on their off time, it was, it was wonderful. And they had a great time and it was such a great time to see them. And, so yeah, I mean they, you know, everybody makes a really big effort, and mm-hmm. it's, um, you know, it's it's. My dad would be incredibly proud, but you know, I'm just honored to to have them sure. be so happy to be a part of his of his legacy and his vision and and supporting the kids and the families. It's just. You know, I, I can't say enough of, and how generous everybody's been with their time and their their energy. It's it's really wonderful. Well, and I, I did want to add, I'm not surprised that um, Joseph fell right in with the kids because I think he's still kind of a big kid at heart. Like, I, I, would, I, would I, I was that. not surprised when you're like, he just fell right in with the kids. I was like, yeah, I could see that happening pretty quickly with him. He's got that, that great heart of his that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he definitely likes to have some serious fun. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, nice. That was good. <laughs> uh, which I know we have talked about this, um, but um, we haven't we haven't recorded it. So um, talk about how you guys got the name the Serious Fun Children's Network. Uh. Well, serious fun, serious fun is actually what my father used to call the camps. Mm, mm-hmm. It was serious for us and just plain fun for the kids. I love it. And we ended up with Children's Network because we weren't sure if serious fun people would understand. You know, understand that it was a, a charity for for seriously ill kids. So that's how we ended up with Serious Fun Children's Network. Yeah. I like that series for us, but fun for the kids. I think that's that's great. That's a great name. It is. Yeah, and I understand hey. adding that children's network so they knew. Hey, here's what we're about. Uh, <laughs> and now you guys had um, the shirt was a big deal during the season. Is that still available for people? Do you know online the the Leave Your Legacy shirt? Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, and I yeah I. I actually bought a number of them and gave them as gifts, and 
people were like, oh my god, I love this shirt, I want to give it to all of my kids, my family. I was like, go online, buy them. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I won't buy them for you, but you can buy them online now. <laughs> I'll buy you one and inspire the other. That's it. There you go. Well, that's that's awesome. Now, is that, um, do you guys uh, sell it through, like, the Series Fun Children's Network website? Is that something you guys also house, or, it just, or is it just simply through the IndyCar website? Yeah, it's the IndyCar store online. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. So yeah. anybody can go to IndyCar.com. I think it's slash shop. Yeah, or you can use the menu. And, or there's a shop Yeah, button. there's a menu and you choose <laughs> store. So. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, no, those those are sharp looking shirts. Those are very nice looking shirts. They I, are. I really like yeah. hawking them. Yeah, we had a lot of fun designing that. Oh, yeah. I bet. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the old, the older picture of my dad on it, which is... It's a very good picture. That was fun looking through all the old pictures of him on the track, and mm, that I was bet. very fun. I bet. All right, well, yeah. for some, some fun questions. So, I am personally... Uh, and I'm not just saying this. <laughs> um, a big fan of the, of the Newman's own salad dressings. And so, what I want to know is, what is your favorite flavor? Of the salad dressing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say Dad's original recipe. Mm. Mm. That's probably yeah, the best the, answer. The, the, the original. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But you can't, you yeah. can't beat it. I mean. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. All right. I'm a, uh, I'm a huge fan of the Greek vinaigrette. <laughs> I love yeah. Well, the, the greatest thing about almost all of them is that they're great to base things in, too. Oh, oh they really yes. are, though. I didn't even really think about good. that. Really good. Oh, yeah. No, my mom does that um, with veggies on the grill in the summertime. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. She uses the balsamic vinaigrette, and yeah. We, Absolutely. We're a big fan of food I on this to, podcast. I have to give a plug to my favorite cookie, which is the Fig Newman's. Well, <laughs> we'll allow any type of food plug. Don't yes. worry about that. <laughs> it's, a shameless, it's a shameless plug, but, you know, no, all I'm... the profits go to charity, so I don't feel bad about it. No, <laughs> no, I think that's fine. That's that's well, completely it, okay. <laughs> quite the clever name. Yeah, well, and, and it's... And it's organic. There you go. Can't beat that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so... You indicated earlier that you kind of you kind of grew up around cars and and races. Do you? We like to ask people. Do you have like a favorite car that either you like to drive or that you've seen in races? Anything that just you love? Well, what is my? So I would say that my favorite car, but not necessarily to drive, sure. is a nineteen sixty six convertible Jag. Oh. Nice. Um, but my favorite car to drive is probably the old 911 twin turbos. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that is fun to I drive. I mean, they're, they're, they're hard to, you know, keep all four wheels doing the same thing. But Sure. But I, but I love driving them. I, I'm a little bit of a gearhead, so. Uh, that's quite okay for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I bet that car is super fun to drive. I bet it's yeah. Mm, it's, super fun to drive. It's a sweet little car. Um, yeah, it is very pretty. Sorry, we just looked up a picture of it again because, well, that's what phones are with, for. Oh, with, the old, with the old bug eyes, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Mine. Yeah. I love that look. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I'm I'm with you on that. Mm. I'm here for it though. The headlights poking out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I love I love classic cars. Yeah. I say I um I actually learned how to drive in a fifty nine Etzel. Oh. So <laughs> that's, I know. That's pretty awesome. My um my mom didn't didn't really know anything about classic cars, but my dad liked to work on cars and so for an anniversary gift one year she wanted to get him a classic car that he could work on in the garage and whatever and so she found this great deal on a classic car and it was an Etzel and so she didn't realize it was such a great deal because not that many people really liked the Etzel but um, my dad and I grew a 
a deep love of the Etzel. <laughs> we became one of the few people that really loved the Ford Etzel. <laughs> and I became an excellent parallel parker. So Yeah, especially with that car. Because <laughs> that car was huge. Uh, but I know I remember my my dad uh, my dad taught me how to drive on in a stick. Mm. Oh, because yeah. You know, yeah, he he thought it was you know almost sacrilegious to to not, and I learned to drive in California on all those hills and you know up and down the canyons oh, and stuff. Yeah, you know, parallel parking and those, you know, those straight up and down hills was <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, yes. I can imagine, especially in a stick. You, you learn how to use your emergency brake very well. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, so if we are ever driving somewhere hilly, you're the woman we want driving the stick shift. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> I'm on it. That's fantastic. Your turn. Um. Let's see. <laughs> so... Okay, so you said that you used to do show jumping. Do you still do do that? I say, do you still jump horses? Yes. And, and compete? To the bar of, uh, it's my poor husband who, who keeps <laughs> saying to me, aren't you getting a little old to do that? No. <laughs> I mean, you're not... The... I'm like, that, that's not very nice to say. <laughs> it's not, no. <laughs> no. That's not very nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, and really, isn't the horse's age really more the concern? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Absolutely. It, it makes it a little bit harder when you hit the ground, but I, I, I try not to do that. <laughs> well, I feel like that's probably the, the biggest goal in, in horse jumping is not hit the ground. Yeah, try not to try not to fall off. <laughs> try not to fall off. I think in any it's horse. That's the two most important things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so you grew up riding horses then? Um, I did. Funnily enough, my... Um, my my sister's road, and I picked it up when I was very little. I started riding on doing like a pony ride when I was two years old, and I would drag my mom back there like constantly as much as I could talk her into taking me there. And I learned to like gallop around on this little on these little ponies by the time I was about four, and I was probably quite foolish, but I was very brave and. Um, got my first pony when I was seven or eight years old and just, you know, I mean, I, the pony used to buck me off almost every day. I mean, I just kept coming back for more. <laughs> <laughs> my poor mother, she came to watch, my parents came to watch me, you know, I had gotten this, this new pony and this whole big exciting thing and I was in an indoor ring and I was so excited and I was all bundled up to ride out because it was in the winter. And the pony ran away with me, and I tried to run him into the wall, you know, the wall of the ring. And there was a piece of wood sticking out, and the pony ran into the wall, not ran into the wall, but, you know, I tried to stop him at the end of the ring, and he kind of went flying sideways, and I fell off, but I flew sideways into the side of the wall. Oh, no. And the wood stuck into my side. Oh. And I, you know, was not to be graphic, like bleeding all over the place. But I was so afraid that my parents would make me, you know, sell the pony that I ran. I literally, I, you know, remember those big puffy, like down coats that we used to have the really big ones, you know, when they first came out. Oh yeah. So I'm like pushing this this puffy coat into my side as I'm bleeding all over the place, and I go running in. I mean, I was like eight, you know, seven or eight years old. I go running into the bathroom, and I'm, like, pushing tissue. (laughs) (laughs) And my poor mother, she she keeps knocking on the door, going, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine, Mom. I'll be right out. (laughs) Because you're like, I don't want them to tell me I can't ride anymore. I can't take the pony, no. Uh, you know, and I I had that pony his whole life. Mm. His name was Shenandoah Firestone, and he died. We were, this, we were the same age, and he died at 42. Oh, oh. wow. That is awesome that you had him his whole life. I had life. him for 35 years. Wow. He was a character from the moment I got him to the moment <laughs> he went. You know. He was unbelievable. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fantastic. That that would have been Mo- mine and Molly's uh, dream childhood. Yeah. We actually, um, we went to horse camp a couple summers because we both loved horses so much as kids. And I actually had, I had a pony one week that had a lot of sass and attitude. A lot of, lot of sassy in that and, pony. Um, yeah. And is now the reason that I'm not scared of being thrown off of a horse because... <laughs> Well, once it happens, I, once. I know what it feels like now, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. You, I, I actually got taught, I mean, when I learned to ride, they actually taught you how to fall off. Oh. Where you'd be trotting around, and, and you, the teacher would be in the middle. I remember Sue, our teacher, standing in the middle of the ring, and look at all of us trotting around. She'd go, okay, fall off, and you'd just, like, Fling yourself off the side and roll away from the pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just I, imagining. Can you imagine if they did that now? They get sued. I just oh imagine God. like a, a an arena of children on a pony just all throwing themselves off a horse. It's a little funny <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious! Oh wow! Yeah, no, I don't think they could do that now. <laughs> no, no, I don't think no. that would, that would fly at all. <laughs> No, we were a pretty hardy bunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's fantastic. Well, that is very cool that you still do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I love it. Oh, that's so what's, really. So what's the name of the horse you ride now? Her name is Tabella. Oh, Ooh, very like pretty. <laughs> very pretty. Yeah. She's a good girl. I've, I've had her for 10 years. Oh, nice. Excellent. She's my girl. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's really they're such, Yeah, they're such smart animals. They are very smart animals. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and she is, you know, she's like windows into my soul, this mm, horse. She's, yep. She is absolutely the, one of the most fun things I can do with my day uh, when, I'm, when I have the time to do it. Sure. But <laughs> what's amazing is that she, you know, I walk into the barn and I'll... And I, I cannot see her for, you know, two weeks. I'll be traveling for work or whatever, and I'll walk into the barn, and I'll say, her, her nickname is Piggy. And I'll say, <laughs> Piggy, Mama's here. And she'll go, oh, 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 oh. She starts nickering to me. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, She's so cute. She talks to me all the time. She's course. hysterical. Of course oh, she does. That's precious. <laughs> of course, yeah. Yeah, that makes complete sense. They oh, all do, I love don't that. they? Oh, that's that's yeah. sweet. I love that. Oh, oh she's awesome. Yeah. Oh, she sounds awesome. She does. <laughs> oh, very cool. Very cool. So, um, yeah. So that's excellent. So you're still selling the shirt. Um, are you? I say, gonna be around at racetracks again this next season as well. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. awesome. Well, then we will so, probably have to pull you up on Saint stage. Peter. Yeah. Oh, awesome. She's going to St. Peter's. Where are you guys oh, going to be? We're going to be there for St. Petersburg. We will. Yay. Oh, this is awesome. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, we will definitely see you down there. Oh, I um, can't wait. Yeah. Especially for the war. Really, I'll be at a bunch of races. I'll be in, you know, the Indy 500. I'll be, um, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure after that, but I'm, I'm, I'll definitely be at Laguna, um, Anyway, I, I'm not quite sure of my whole schedule, but I'm I'm going to be at a bunch of the races. This That's year. amazing. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. We'll def- we'll definitely have to pull you up on stage for one of the autograph sessions, so you can say talk a little bit about uh, the camps and all that fun stuff. I would so. love to do that. Oh, excellent! <laughs> Don't tell us that because we'll do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, all right. Well, is there anything else that, uh, Ooh, where can they, uh, y'all on y'all, sorry. So then Indiana's coming up. Um, you guys are all on social media, aren't you? Absolutely. Okay. Where can they, the, the listeners, uh, where can they find you on social media? Y'all are on social media. I am done with myself. Seriousfunnetwork.org. Awesome. Everything's there on the website. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. That's I like that one-stop shop. It's easy yep. for us. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. So, okay. excellent. Well, is there anything else that you want to add on, Clea, we before like we get... let you go? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I think we covered a lot. We, we... I, you know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this coming year um, and the partnership, and I'm so excited about getting back to the track and 
getting to hang out with all of you guys. So I'm grateful for your all your time, too. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Um, we do. We Thank are you. just in love with the idea of, of all of these camps and the Serious Fun Children's Network. And I'm hopeful that everybody listening can hop online, take a look at the website, follow you, give you some love on social media, and, you know, buy some shirts. Buy some shirts, yeah. Help Absolutely. send some kids to camp. Yeah. Get, get, Thank you so much. Thank and, yeah, we'll have to hang out when, at, the, at the next race. Oh, definitely. We'll find you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, all, all right. right. You got it. Well, thank you again, Clea, and you have a great night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Have a good Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening. We actually may be on the road right now to the Rolex 24 hours. God only knows where we could be when you're listening to this. But make sure you're following our social media channels this weekend because it is a race and we will be on them all the time. Of course, everything is linked on our webpage, which is www.fastcarsfastgirls.com. We've got a social media tab for you there. Or if you want to do this individually, it's Twitter is at FastCarsIN317. Our Instagram is FastCarsFastGirls. Our Facebook is Facebook.com slash FastCarsFastGirls. And since this is a race, our Snapchat is back up. And it's FastCars, then F-S-T-G-R-L-S. It's like, you know, you can't buy a vowel right now with the Snapchat. By the way, if you are on our website and you want to go ahead and just click the subscribe tab, that'll show you how to subscribe to everything. And we'd greatly appreciate it if you do that. And hey, toss us a review. We will talk to you guys later. Next up is the race report from the road when we start driving back from Daytona.